Terminal, Mr. Gilbert Masengedi is sentenced to six months imprisonment. Mr. Masengedi is ordered to submit himself to the Commissioner General of Kenya Prisons to ensure that he is to be committed to a prison facility to commence serving sentence of the imprisonment imposed. In the event that he does not submit himself to the Commissioner General of Prison Service as ordered, the Cabinet Secretary for the National Interior must take all steps that are necessary and permissible in law to ensure Mr. Gilbert Masengeli is committed to prison to commence serving the sentence imposed on him. The court, nevertheless, finds it desirable to impose this sentence as a coercive order as opposed to a punitive order. In that regard, Mr. Riga Mr. Masengeli may avoid serving this sentence, and therefore, in that regard, the court shall suspend this sentence for seven days only. The Acting Inspector General of Police can redeem himself and comply by availing himself before this court in person to answer to the issues he has been avoiding in default. The sentence shall automatically become effective. Kenyans have been reacting differently after the judge who sentenced IG Masengeli to six months in a prisonment security being withdrawn. And the Judicial Service Commission today have published a press statement saying statement on the intimidation and withdrawal of uh, the security detail of Honorable Mr. Justice Lawrence Mugambi. The Judicial Service Commission have convened the press a briefing to address a matter of a grave concern, an action that not only undermines judicial independence but also threatens the core principles of the rule of law and constitutionalism in our country. And it continues by saying, as is now publicly known, Honorable Mr. Justice Lawrence Mugambi, a judge of High Court, have been presiding over the case of Law Society of Kenya and three others. Inspector of Inspector General of Police and four others, petition number E436 of 2024. This case was filed in court following allegations of abduction, stroke, arrest of three individuals Bob Micheni Njangi, Jamil Longton, and Salam Longton on the 19th of August 2024. This led to the filing of petition number. E436 of 2024 before the Constitutional and Human Rights Division of the High Court seeking a court order to compel the authorities to produce the missing individual and the Honorable Justice Lawrence Mugambi decided to sentence IG Masengeli to six months in imprisonment and days after his security have been withdrawn. And Kenyans have been reacting with this, you know, issue differently, saying that actually we are in a country where we are ruled by dictators and that President William Ruto should should calm down, should really, really calm down and stop this uh, dictatorship. But feel free to share your thoughts uh, down below on the comment section because it is allegedly said uh, that it is President William Ruto who ordered the security of uh, Lawrence Mugambi to be withdrawn since he judged in a truth truthful manner. And Masengeli and Ruto, they were the ones who abducted those three people and they don't want to be answerable and since Justice Lawrence Mugambi have had decided to do his work truthfully you know President William Ruto have decided to order his security you know officers or rather security in a general to be withdrawn. Feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comment section because other people are saying that it is a high court a judge a, that is a Lawrence Mugambi that you are seeing on the screen when a coming was the IG. Actually, he didn't, you know, arrest him or he didn't send him to prison simply because they are both Merus and, you know, he is tribalistic. Now that uh, IG Masengeli is a lawyer, you know, he has decided to send him to six months in prison imprisonment. People are just reacting differently on social media. Others, uh, they are saying actually they want to visit Masengeli's
house and other people are saying you know why is it that you know the executive is defying orders of uh, the judiciary these are the major arms of uh, the government and you are seeing that uh, the executive is disobeying the rules of uh, the judiciary and that you know the the judiciary they see that you know they are seen that like you know they are not independent and you know the executive keeps you know intimidating them feel free to share your thoughts about this issue of security being withdrawn and let's take a look at some of the netizens reaction like this one i've said imagine in whose hands are we safe in the executive violating judiciary's constitutional right to that extent what a about common mwananchi this one said he should respect masengeli this one said very awkward why is kenya rotten up to this extent this one said you want it tough we right and these are some of the people who are saying now that you know they have decided to disobey the judiciary you know we shall bring up another manda mano what are your thoughts what are your opinions feedbacks feel free to share some of them down below in the comments section let's take a look at some of other reactions you know this one i uh, still said all oh, this is happening under ruto's watch this one said impunity abi said kaende wakumia umie he should know people this one said if are ready to offer free security this one said reportedly feel free to share your thoughts opinions feedbacks down below the comment section and let's have a beautiful conversation down below and feel free to smash that like button see you on our next video Bye-bye.